It's time for Live in Tallahassee, the region's number one source for entertainment news. Live in Tallahassee is brought to you by these local businesses, Sonny's Barbecue, Kraft Nissan, Silver Digital Media, and the law offices of Johnny Devine. And now, here are your hosts, Joel Silver and John Summers. Welcome to another edition of Live in Tallahassee. I'm here with Joel Silver. John Summers is here too, and we are... Well, where else would we be? Doak Campbell Stadium for the first Friday night game of the season. And we are ready for another 30 minutes of exciting things happening here in town. And it's Veterans Day, and it's a Friday night. You know, I, I, I woke up and I felt like it was Saturday. This is unusual, but it's kind of cool in a way. I, I might go to church oh, no. in the morning. I don't know. <laughs> this is a special night. Seminoles, we're coming off another win. So everybody is fired up, and we have so much going on. And to have a game on Veterans Day is so special because it's been a great day here in Tallahassee and coming up later in the show we are going to show you some of the other things happening around town we'll take you to the Veterans Day celebration the big parade went down Monroe Street we're going to take you to a special ceremony where they honored some veterans with the Florida Health Care Association that John and we're also going to have our very popular segment crafty beers we're going to take you to show you some craft beers it is a jam-packed show, John, but we're going to start right here, and we're having a great time, are we not? I think the parachute, uh, the parachuters are about to come in, so we'll see what's going on here. It's a Seminole Friday night, live in Tallahassee at Doe Campbell Stadium. Let's do it! Standing outside gate D now. Look who we found. Look at the size of this family. It's the Bryan family. They are fired up for FSU football. And even more importantly, on this Veterans Day, check this out. We have two Marines here. Talk to me about today and how you feel. Uh, loving that we're able to go to, to this game with my entire family. Uh, this is my first semester at Florida State University, and I've been loving it ever since. Outstanding, and uh, tell me, why, this family is enormous. What's this all about? Uh, just family get-together, Veterans Day celebration, uh, coming up for Florida State Seminoles game. Outstanding, and we have some uh, war chant going on here. <laughs> nice. The guys just landed, Captain Kent Paro. Yep. Congratulations, you were spot on, man. Awesome. That was that was the most exciting thing, and you heard the crowd go wild. Tell me what that's like. Oh, it's great. Always great to jump here in Florida State. Um, it's a beautiful night, and uh, the fans were, were awesome as we entered the stadium. It was good. Always exciting. Well, congratulations. I, I, I'm sure it has special meaning being Veterans Day today, Absolutely. and you know, and and cheers to you guys and thank you for all your support and uh you know it's it just it's, it's such a special oh, thing here man yeah i mean we're here to represent the uh, 67,000 soldiers sailors airmen marines that make up the u.s special operations command there's uh seals army rangers army green berets air force special operations marsoc raiders um that's who we're representing and on veterans day it's it's no no better thing to do than, than this i know you can't give away any super secrets but how do you target i'm sure when you jumped out of the plane we saw the little strobe lights up there i was thinking that don't Gamble has to look like a postage stamp. I wasn't that small, and, and it's lit up pretty good. So, oh, that's good. <laughs> so it was awesome. Thank you for your service. Congratulations. All right. I'm here with my boss, Scott Carswell, that I work with at the Moon. Everybody is excited about the brawl for it all coming up Friday night before the Florida, Florida State game. Tell me about it. 27 years, 27 years in a row. Tom and the Cats, all the Cats, will be at the Moon Friday before the uh, FSU Florida game. And Frankie Golden will be there in the lounge Play one, drink one, Frankie Golden. So it's going to be quite the night, 27 years in a row. If, if you're old school Tallahassee or you went to Leon High School, you know about Tom and the Cats. The Cats. You know about Frankie Golden. And you know, I understand, Scott, that this year, um, they, it's been at like the Legion Hall forever, but they moved it to the moon. How exciting. Yes, it, we were fortunate to get it in, in this year and uh, just got a little bit big for the Legion Hall. Yeah. So they wanted to make a bigger event out of it. We were happy to accommodate them. The Brawl for it all. Tickets on sale right now online, moonevents.com. Back to you, Joel.
It's senior day on the field here at Bobby Bowden Field, and we are with another proud, proud parent, Demarcus Walker, your son. How did it feel to see him out there walking out? It's wonderful. It's a good feeling. I'm emotional right now, but it's a really good feeling. Tell me how proud you are of all he's done here. I am so proud of him because he has accomplished a whole lot. He really has done the stand up. I'm just proud, and I'm very, very emotional right now. And as a family, what do you think about Florida State University and the whole experience here? I love it. It's great. We love the Knowles and we love you. Thank you so much for letting your son come here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the parents, uh, I, I expect very proud parents, of uh, Mr. Sean McGuire. How does it feel tonight to be at Doak Campbell Stadium? That just gave me chills walking out here, watching, seeing him and that, and that uh, crowd that uh, gave him not, such a nice round of applause. It was, uh, it was awesome. And what a proud mom you must be. I'm very proud of him, very much. You know, he did give me goosebumps too, and I, I had to think, you know, how great it is to see your son walking out and the, the response from the crowd, like you said, and to be holding these giant laminates with your son's picture on them. Very proudly wearing it. We'll wear it for a while. I'll probably keep this for a while, you know? It's an awesome, awesome. I, I think that needs to go in a shadow box, you know? Absolutely. You aren't kidding. So, it was awesome. I appreciate you taking the time for Live in Tallahassee. Good luck tonight. Congratulations on the extreme success of your son. We're all very proud of him. Thank you very so much. much. Last year, Sonny's hosted the Smokin' Showdown, an epic barbecue battle in Central Florida between the nation's best pitmasters. We're doing it again this year, and you can win an all-expense-paid trip to catch the action live. Enter for a chance to win at sonnyshowdown.com slash sweepstakes. Till then, come get our signature baby back ribs at Sonny's for just $14.99 for a limited time. Sonny's Barbecue, local pitmasters since 68. Dennis Mason with the Brass Tap and your host of Crafty Beer Adventures on Live in Tallahassee and we are here at J.R. Alfred Greenway. There's a little bit of something here for everyone. There's great trails to run on, to walk on. I come out here with my kids and we push them in the stroller, go to the train bridge sometime. I'm here with Aaron with Camp Folks. And uh, what made you guys sponsor the Ales and Trails this year? Yeah, it was something that we wanted to do to kind of showcase some of the local parks in the in Tallahassee area. Uh, so we chose to work with the city and the county to uh, showcase a couple of the city parks and a couple of the city, uh, the county greenways. And so that's what we're doing. This is our last installment. So we're out here at J.R. Alfred Greenway. So where can I get some information from Camp Folks? Yeah, so we have a website, uh, campfolks.com. All of our excursions and gear rentals listed on there. You can actually book it right there online. Uh, a lot of our events are posted on Facebook and Instagram, so uh, make sure to like us and, and share all of your outdoor adventures via social media. So. Well, we came out here today because we wanted to get a good hike in. It's a beautiful day, nice cool weather, get the dogs in for a workout. Very pet friendly, yeah. We've worked with camp folks before. Um, we went on a spring hopper tour with them a couple weeks ago, and that's how we first met and got introduced to them. I actually um, went on the first day. Yeah, that's true. Trails. She went on the first Friends, Ailes and Trails. And then so. I kind of recruited him to go on this one. Great. And have you guys been to the Brass Tap before? Yes. Oh, yes. We yes. have Brass Tap uh, craft beer brew memberships. Brew yeah, brew crew memberships. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And uh, you guys familiar with Cigar City Brewery? Yes. Yes. One I've actually, favorite. yeah, I've actually toured the brewery before. So what's your favorite beer? Oh, the Cafe 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 Go Manche, definitely.
I'm here with Steven, the bar manager here at the Brass Tap on Gain Street. Steven, tell me about the Brass Tap. The Brass Tap's an upscale beer bar, and we have the largest craft beer selection in Tallahassee. We offer the best craft beers from all around the industry. We have live music every Friday and Saturday night. We're the place to be for FSU football tailgating and all sporting events. So tell me what you have to offer uh, as far as sports games go. Well, here at the Brass Tap, we have the ultimate tailgate experience. We're a quarter mile away from Joe Campbell Stadium. We have over 70 craft beers on tap, as well as a brand new specialty cocktail menu, as well as a full food menu of some of your favorite snacks and meals. I'm here with Corinne. Corinne, tell me what you like about the Ales and Trails event. It's a beautiful day outside and anything I can do to help the environment and keep Tallahassee clean. So it was nice. It was fun. Great. And uh, we, we're here at the Brass Tap. Tell me, uh, what do you love about the Brass Tap? I love the beer selection here. There's so many choices, so many different IPAs, and you can try all the different ones, and it's really just awesome. Big thank you to Triangle for sponsoring our Ales and Trails segment with Crafty Beer Adventures. I'm Dennis Mason, your host of Crafty Beer Adventures, where we are keeping it crafty in Tallahassee. I was buried in school loans and couldn't get a new car, all because of my credit. And I was shocked when he filed for bankruptcy. Maybe that's why now he's my ex. First time I heard my credit score, 590. I was like, what's that? I wanted a new car and to keep my dignity. So I hear about Kraft Nissan's new for you program. 10 minutes after walking in, I was approved for a brand new car. I was like, yes. Thanks Kraft Nissan. Live in Tallahassee is back on the air now with other stories happening around our region in our quick shots. And we start with what was a special day in our area and that is Veterans Day. Veterans Day just happened last week and it was a great, great day and live in Tallahassee cameras were around covering it. First of all, check out the Veterans Day Parade. So many good moments to be held at this parade. And this parade gets better each year and longer because it is such a special moment. The streets were lined up and down Monroe Street with, with people watching the parade. And it was a great, great time. Obviously great as the kids got to witness their fantastic veterans coming down the street and lots and lots of floats and lots and lots of good times. So it, it was really nice with the day off of school, a day off of work for many people, everybody able to gather around and salute their veterans Tallahassee style and boy did they. So you can see the great, great moments, the great times. We want to thank everybody that came out to watch the parade and a special thank you to those who have served our country. The sacrifices you have made to ensure the freedoms of our country. And we hope in some way that this parade showed our gratitude. And we have another story from Veterans Day. Check out this at the Florida Healthcare Association. Now this is the group that represents the long-term care facilities in the state of Florida. They're based here in Tallahassee, right near the state capitol, and they represent the long-term care facilities all over the state of Florida. Now, who better to salute our veterans than those who take care of them, many of them nowadays, as, as they age. So a special ceremony, you can see it here, was held 
at the offices of the Florida Healthcare Association and very special and touching moments at this one as well. Now there was a breakfast provided for all veterans. There was many thanks, gifts provided to our veterans for their service. And then a very special ceremony as each veteran was able to come through and get a special coin and a certificate of commemoration for their service from the Department of Veteran Affairs from here in the state of Florida. So you can see when we when I tell you the 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 wars that were represented here back to World War II and more of the recent wars Iraq Operation Enduring Freedom we there was veterans from all over running running the gamut of the years and the fights that our country has been in and it was so special to see some of these guys come through and receive these awards we want to thank the Florida Healthcare Association for inviting us. Their executive director, Emmett Reed, was proud of the day. Good morning, honored guests, shipmates, family and friends. We'd like to welcome you to this special occasion to honor World War II and Korean veterans who reside in our nursing centers, as well as the veteran staff who care for them. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be here for you this morning and to honor you. We have so many residents from our member nursing homes that served in World War II and Korea. All right, we have a couple other events that you're gonna see now. Check this out. Everybody was very excited about the first concert in Doak Campbell Stadium in about 20 years, and this was Doak After Dark. You're looking here at some of the footage that was enjoyed by thousands of fans. Now, this is gonna be a new thing here in Doak Campbell Stadium with the completion of the end zone with the completion of the Champions Club, the University Center, lots of exciting things planned for Doe Campbell Stadium. You know game days are awesome, but now there's gonna be more events just like this one. Doke After Dark, some great, great country music enjoyed by the fans there. We wanna thank the FSU Athletics Department for inviting us over. Uh, it was just a thrill to be outside in the open air in Doe Campbell Stadium listening to music. And it was a great event. And finally, we're gonna go just a little bit west to a coastal boil. You know, here, we're based in Tallahassee, obviously. We're live in Tallahassee, but we like to make sure we cover our whole region and show you what's happening. And if this one happens again, you need to make sure you get over there. Let's go over to Harbor Walk Village in Destin, Florida. A great place, great food, great restaurants, great environment, great fishing over there. But this was a special day. This was a coastal boil. And if you like boil, this is, they had shrimp sausage potatoes oh my god it was so good delicious stuff and they were just serving it up like wildfire over there people were coming from all over to enjoy a taste of northwest florida seafood and we got the best seafood by the way in the entire world right here off of our coast so and it was a great event the table was a hundred feet long you get your food you walk over to this table you start enjoying it you break it open with everybody else so a hundred foot long table i'm not sure if that's a record but uh you were able to open up all your food there was corn you put the butter on i can't imagine so a big thank you to the florida restaurant and lodging association just a, a great organization promotes tourism all over our state represents our restaurants and our hotels across the state and uh, we were thrilled we like being at this event we want to come back to this one and you should come back to it too next time it happens check out harbor walk or the florida restaurant and lodging association websites for that that's going to wrap it up for a great rundown of quick shots live in tallahassee is back right after this
the big has impacted my life, primarily through awareness. Awareness that I could impact another child's life, another human's life, in a way that I had no idea existed. Hi, I'm Tony Young, lead singer of King Cotton, and we want to welcome you to the Clemson Downtown Get Down. You know, we've been a band for 20 years and we're very thankful that the Get Down always lets us play pretty much every year and most of the time they give us the biggest game of the season. We kind of mix blues, southern rock, and a little bit of outlaw country and kind of have our own hopefully infectious North Florida sound. We've got Tom Corbett on the drums, Frank Jones is on the guitar, Clyde Ramsey's on keyboard and harmonica, and uh, Kyle Sherbanek is on the bass. Fall season's really Tallahassee's best tourist opportunity to really get people, you know, an influx of people coming into town to pack hotel rooms and pack restaurants and it really brings a lot of economic impact. The downtown get down, it's been going on for as long as we've been a band and it's it's just a great time. It's a very family, family friendly, uh, you know, very age appropriate uh, kind of atmosphere and, you know, for bands like us, you know, there's not many times when we can play in front of 4,000 people like we can tonight. So uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's just going to be a great event, uh, the biggest uh, ball game of the year here at Clemson. And uh, I graduated from Florida State and uh, with a hospitality administration degree. So uh, it's great for the hospitality industry right here in downtown Tallahassee. Live in Tallahassee, back on the air now, and a big special to Tony Young for that message. Coming from a downtown get down we were at recently, great, great guy there. And makes you think, hey, we got one more downtown get down to come. One week from today, folks, is Thanksgiving Day. So let's talk about what's happening that week. And we got a few things on the schedule here. Take a look at the items on your screen. Thursday, obviously, Thanksgiving Day. The turkey trot happens in the morning. Thousands of runners are expected at the turkey trot. Every year, this event grows and becomes more and more popular and more and more fun. Get ready to run. I, there's a 5K. There's a 10K. All kinds of runs you can do. Get up on that Thursday morning. Get some exercise before you eat all your turkey. On Friday, it's the Brawl for It All. This year, the Brawl for It All moves to the moon. This is the big FSU UF party. They have a huge turnout for this every year. Over at the moon, that'll be happening now. Obviously, Friday night, also the downtown get down, the block party, the last one of the year. Head over to downtown to celebrate as we get ready to beat the Florida Gators. And then speaking of that game, obviously, Saturday is the big game. Saturday, FSU versus Florida. Dope Campbell Stadium. We got them at home this year. Should be a great last game of the season. So... It's a crowded Thanksgiving weekend, as you can see, and obviously, you know, you want to spend some time with your family as well. So lots of fun. We wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. We hope you have a good one with your family. And from all of us here at Live in Tallahassee, we thank you for joining us. Special episode next week for Thanksgiving. And because we got some calls from people who missed an earlier episode of Ales and Trails, here's another look at the Ales and Trails from a couple weeks ago. I'm Dennis Mason with the Brass Tap and your host of Crafty Beer Adventures on Live in Tallahassee. And we're at Magnolia Trails at Tom Brown Park here in Tallahassee, Florida. Out here on the trail, I'm here with Eric Pounders, AKA Pound for Pound with Madison Social. Eric, tell me a little bit about the Brew District and what we're doing with the camp folks. This is the uh, third installment of our Ales for Trails series with uh, Tally, Tallahassee Brew District and camp folks. Uh, out here today at uh, Magnolia Trail at Tom Brown Park, doing about a two and a half mile trail. Really excited to get people out here, walking through and then head on to Madison Social and rehydrate a little bit after their hike. Nothing better than a, a cold beer to kind of get back some of the uh, what you put out on the trail today and so we're gonna do a uh, goose island 312 magic hat number nine but we're hoping uh, people stick around and they can enjoy some other beers maybe like the funky buddha sweet potato casserole we have on tap right now also got funky buddha hop gun funky buddha floridian great beers they can enjoy after a trail hike 
That's amazing. I love Funky Buddha. It, there's got to be something said about uh, drinking beer and doing some exercise, and it seems like a popular thing these days. I think people love it. You know, it's they kind of feel like they've earned uh, a, a nice craft beer after the hike. You know, walking two and a half miles burns off some calories, and they kind of feel like they've earned uh, a nice craft beer after they're done with that hike. Get, uh, getting in some uh, well-needed calories after burning some off, right? Exactly. You know, One of my favorite things to get away from college and just like erase everything and explore. I'm a big explorer, so <laughs> I like just running around, walking, looking at the different types of trees. And it just, after the day of work, it just helped me kind of clear my brain out, you know, love the trails, happy people. There's always know. happy people. I'm here with Zach Bartlett, the general manager of Madison Social. Zach, tell me a little bit about Madison Social and what you have to offer here. Oh, man. On a day like today, we have the patio to offer. I mean, that's the most important thing. It's absolutely stunning out here. Just gorgeous. Uh, but Madison Social, in general, just brings people together, right? You know, what unites people more than food and drink and good company, right? So, you know, we, you provide the company for the most part your own, but we like to think that we congregate a good crowd, an eclectic mix of people from all over that just can sit and enjoy each other's company over a fine meal or a nice bourbon or a beer on a day like today. I'm here with Brent Sutton with Madison Social. Brent, will you tell me about what Funky Buddha beers you guys have on draft right now? Right now we're featuring the sweet potato casserole from Funky Buddha. These guys are masters of flavor. Um, it is literally sweet potato casserole in a glass. Um, very fitting for the holidays and we're featuring it all month. What other Funky Buddha beer do you guys have here at Madison Social? Well, we got the Floridian. It is a Hefeweizen, really light wheat, year, uh, wheat beer. Um, kind of an entry to uh, craft beers. And for those a little more savvy, the uh, Hop Gun. Uh, it's an IPA, a lot of hops, kind of in your face. Delicious. So, if I were to have to pair one food item with the sweet potato casserole beer, what would that be? You nailed it. Chicken and waffles. Um, very complimentary flavors. Takes us to the season. Sweet, savory, and beer yeah. here at Madison Social. A big thank you to Tri-Eagle for sponsoring this Ales and Trails segment with Crafty Beer Adventures. I'm Dennis Mason, your host of Crafty Beer Adventures, where we're keeping it crafty in Tallahassee.